Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, it's very early in the morning, guys, because I just got the new fragrance oil from 1617. Yes, the vibrant Miss Vin. Yes, here it is. The new beauty, guys. I cannot wait to try, guys, and give you my honest review, okay? I got to have in here uh, already a fragrance strip that I'm gonna used to smell this beautiful thing, guys. Another masterpiece. Okay, so let me read to you about this fragrance oil, okay? From 1617. Look at how beautiful the picture, guys. Okay. Oh my God, you know, it's like every day, I just keep dreaming, oh my God. It doesn't get any better than this, you know, these beautiful scents that are coming out, perfect for my candle lines, okay? So let's read the description for Miss Bean. Okay, uh, for the pronunciation, I went to Google, and they told me that that's how you pronounce it, Vin, Vin, okay? Meet the vivacious, vivid, vexing, and environable, virtuous, vibrant Miss Vin. Yes! Bright floral and crisp, clean top notes blend effortlessly with grinding notes of incense and amber for a colorful fragrance journey with the dazzling Mrs. Vin. While charming out of the bottle, the lovely Mrs. Vin needs to be experienced in fragrance form or in a candle to achieve its true complex beauty. Yes! Okay, the fragrance family for this is earthy floral, the top notes, cotton blossom, middle notes, dried rose, and geranium, and the base notes, incense and amber. Oh my God, this is the best combination ever, guys. Okay, so let me just, let me just go for it, okay? So, but I wanna do it on, on the fragrance tree because that's how I always get the true essence. Okay, so let me just put it, let me just close it down. Sometimes when you smell it right out of the bottle, guys, you don't get the, the you don't get the whole experience, okay? So, okay, so let me just dry, let it dry a little bit. And let's go for the journey together, guys, okay? Oh my God. Right off the boat, guys. <sighs> right off the boat, this is taking me in a journey. <sighs> oh my God. I know you guys are sick and tired of me saying that this smells spiritual, but the incense, whatever, whenever a, a fragrance has incense for me, it makes it more like, Deep, grounding, sensual. I love the, the floral in these guys. To me, it's not too floral for me. It's very complex, very delicate. I find it very uh, feminine, very cleansing, very invigorating at the same time, guys. Uh, it smells a lot uh, to me. It gives me like, the, it gives me the hint of Kathmandu vibe, you know? Beautiful, my goodness, okay. I love the name, I love the fragrance oil, I'm gonna make a candle out of this, guys. But before I do that, let me just read to you something that I found, uh, because I was kind of uh, intrigued of uh, what does uh, the family, uh, the fragrance family, earthy floral smells like, okay? So I went, I did some research, okay? What is the best way to describe an earthy and floral fragrance family, okay? An earthy and floral fragrance family can be described as a combination of scents that have a natural botanical quality with a hint of fresh flowers. This is exactly that. The fragrance has a warm and grounding scent, this one does, blending the essence of the earth with the lively and uplifting aroma of the flowers. Beautiful. It has a balanced composition of both fresh and green notes with a touch of sweet, soft floral. Perfection. This type of fragrance is often associated with nature and has a calming and rejuvenating effect. It is often used in perfumes, candles, and other personal care products for its soothing and relaxing property. This is a masterpiece, guys. It doesn't get any better than this. Okay, now, because I want to, uh, because I'm very curious, guys, I'm gonna also compare with uh, Kathmandu, okay? So I have in here Kathmandu, and I'm gonna see what kind of vibe can Kathmandu is gonna give me compared to this one, okay? So I have in here the picture of Kathmandu, yes! And let me read you about all the information of this beautiful fragrance. Okay, let me just show you the label, guys. Uh, Kathmandu, description. Spicy cedar top notes, mingled with sandalwood and heavy, heavy amber, creating a divinely grounding fragrance. 
Diodor Cedar, native to the Himalayas, means wood of the gods in Sanskrit and is thought to possess he uh, healing qualities. Enchanting and calming, Kathmandu is an arboraceous, earthy and luxurious. Yes, it's unbelievable. Okay, the fragrance family for this is earthy and woody. Top nose is Malabar pepper and cedar. Middle nose, sandalwood. Base note, Baltic amber. Okay. okay, let me just do a fragrance strip on this one because this both fragrance families, guys, are very um, very close together. The only difference is that one is, one is woodsy and the other one is uh, more floral, okay? So, let's see. Okay, this one has more spice. This one has more, uh, it's, it's the woodiness, it's the spice of the wood. So, I think I, I smell a hint of patchouli in the background, you know? Even though it doesn't describe that in here, but it's part of the woodsiness of, of, of the fragrance family. I get less of the incense. Uh, uh, it's not incense because it doesn't have incense. It's less of the. Uh, it doesn't have any incense at all. Now that I can think of it, okay. But it's very spiritual. I think it is has to do with the uh, the combination of uh, the amber and the woodsiness of this. It gives it a very deep, very healing, very like. I have to say, masculine, okay. So for me, Kathmandu is more masculine. Uh, the Vibrant Mrs. Bean is more feminine, okay guys? So let me just put them together and let me see what I get. Perfection. It's... Oh my God. You know what came to my mind, guys? Uh, it came to my mind the... Uh, Shiloh. Shallow Julie Pitt. The mixing of Angelina Julie and Brad Pitt together created such beautiful girls, you know? <sighs> to me, this is like having the best of both worlds, the best of the feminine and the best of the masculine. It's creating a beautiful gender neutral fragrance, guys. This is truly amazing. Amazing. <sighs> I have to make a candle out of this one, guys, okay? But. By themselves, they are two masterpieces. But if you want something different, by mixing them, the two of them together, guys, it's gonna give you like an epic candle, okay? So that's my review for the new beauty, the vibrant Mrs. V. I'm gonna make a candle out of this one, guys. So be on the lookout. So thank you for coming, guys. This is a short video, but I just couldn't wait for you to share my opinion on this beautiful masterpiece creation from 1617, guys. Guys, don't forget to go visit my website, Candle Romance Shop, so you can purchase my beautiful candles, guys. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give a like to the video, guys, and don't forget, I always go live on Sundays at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, okay, guys? Until the next video, be well. Yeah!